All right, so I'm thinking we go to war with Great Britain here and try to kick them out of continental Europe. Now, Portugal's been willing to go into this war for a very long time. It was Austria. For some reason, they were in a separate war with Sicily. And I'm guessing they peaced out or no. No, they didn't peace out. They're just down to do it. They're just like, screw it. Uh, and I apologize. In the last video, I mentioned that I thought that they were in debt. It was actually a new thing, a part of the new 1.13 patch. Um, allies won't join offensive wars unless it's every 10 years or something like that. So you can't do more than one every 10 years. I like that. That's a very smart move. That's probably for the best, ultimately. So anyways, yeah, I have no reason not to start this up. The only thing is, you know what would be nice? I mean, we should do this. Actually, you know what? Because I was thinking about if I really needed the extra help, I could just declare war in Provence, and the Provence would have pulled down only Great Britain. Uh, that's fine. We'll fight the Iroquois. Congo, Norway, that's, I mean, Norway's really the only other person, the only other region here that's going to be involved, I don't think, and, and, and really Norway shouldn't be that involved, and also, let's remind ourselves that this will not be as tough as the first British war, because Mexico, Canada, and uh, who else, who else got their independence, I think somebody else got their independence, so, I mean, there is actually uh, British Peru, but they're, they, I mean, come on, let's, I mean, they, they should, they should never, definitely not have a impact at all. And I also discovered some terra incognita so that we can continue to colonize lands north of Italian Louisiana. All right, so, yeah, let's do this. And I'm going to name uh, Provence as a co-belligerent because I do want to fully annex them in this war, not later. Uh, and we're going to just try to take the bare minimum. I, I don't really need anything else. I just want these three provinces. That's it. It's very simple. And then our annexation of Brittany is already beginning. So we should hopefully grab all of this stuff around the same time within the next maybe 10 or so years. All right. So let's go ahead and go just straight down the line. Bam, bam, bam. Uh, what did I do? I don't even know what I chose to declare this war. Oh, yeah. Conquest of Normandy. Perfect. So we should be able to siege out Normandy. There is a, there is a fort, I believe, on all of these provinces. But that's okay. I'm really hoping that Portugal actually goes up north and helps us out here. Brittany has a small fleet. They probably should get out of there. They were in, uh, what is this, Land's End. That would have been bad because uh, there was a huge fleet of British ships moving around this region, around the English Channel. They barely dodge it. Hey, buddy, you better, get, you better put that stuff back, man. That's not going to be so good. That is not going to end so well. Wait a second. I didn't call my out. That's right. I did not do that, did I? Um, did Austria join? I'm so confused about that. I don't understand why... They that happens. Okay, so yeah, Brittany, we have our colonies, we have Portugal's colonies. Oh, I didn't realize we have Portugal's colonies too. Wait a second, where is Austria? Uh, Austria is not in this. Oh, really? So I just, oh, Austria isn't willing to do this. Interesting, okay. All right, well, hopefully they will be later. Uh, I'm sure when they get their, they're, they're going to be done with their war against Sicily very soon. Let's just double, just double check on visually what they're going after. Oh, they're not at war with Sicily. They're at war with the Papal State. And as well as the Mamluks, but that's fine. Um, and Hejaz. All right, well, yeah, Austria should be able to peace out soon, I'm hoping. We can call them in, call them in but I don't think we really need them. I think we're going to be fine, I think. Uh, let's keep an eye on continental Europe. Uh, there's a 48 stack that Portugal's sending up north, so that's perfect. And uh, I guess we'll just chill here. I'm hoping that maybe Portugal will be able to watch us for, watch out for us. This is going to be a long war. I should keep that in mind. Hey, who, who, who just tried to attack us? I don't know who it was, but we won it. I, I, wait a second. I'm hoping that none of these colonies were allied. Well, the Iroquois could send stuff out after us. Yeah, no. There is still British Columbia, but yeah, we don't have to worry about that either. British Columbia and British Peru, right? Or... British Columbia? Wait a second, that that makes no sense. I don't know where that's at. That's supposed to be here, right? All right, well, I'm not going to ask any questions. Let's see what happens. Diplomatic, uh, no. Let's just go ahead and, I mean, might as well increase the, it's a, actually a majority, a little bit of the African nations, not all uh, African nations here, but let's go ahead and increase their opinion because we don't need a diplomatic, a diplomatic insult on Provence. We've already, we're going to eliminate them from this game, so we don't need to worry about it. All right, so this seems to be going pretty well. I shouldn't be kind of counting my, my chickens before they hatch, but I'm going to here because uh, it, it seems like it's going to be pretty one-sided. We have all of Portugal here. I'm hoping that Great Britain tries to land something. That's fine if they want to. Ooh, look at that, Portugal uh, starting to blockade the British Isles. Perfect. Not sure exactly how big the uh, the fleet is for, the, for, the, for Great Britain, but I mean, it looks like we're, everything's going pretty well. Sicily's not doing so well against uh, against the Mamluks. Let's we'll keep that in mind. Maybe we should stay away from the Mamluks. I mean, we should. I mean, if we're not fighting any European wars, we could probably take on the Mamluks, but uh, probably not at the same time.
Okay, finally, we're going to get ourselves our seventh idea group. What shall we go? What shall we do? Uh, I've been pretty balanced throughout the entire game, which is kind of what you kind of need to do. Um, I'm thinking maybe... I mean, maybe we should just continue to push for military ideas. Continue to have, like, the best the best military in the world. I, don't, uh, I do really like trade ideas, though. That's right. I've been wanting to go trade for a really long time. Let's go ahead and do that. It's going to cost me diplomatic power, but... That's okay. Let's do it. I like trade ideas. I've been wanting that for a while. Okay, and we also cored some lands. I didn't realize that. We totally declared while we were still overextended, I think. We might even see a few rebels pop up. It's fine. It's no big deal. There's Normandy. That's given a 16% war score. Perfect. Uh, we could probably actually peace out with Provence right now. But the only thing is we peace out with them right now. We can't core the lands, which is going to mean some, uh, ult you know, some aggressive expansion for the rest of it. Maybe, or not aggressive expansion, overextension, I should say. I mean, yeah, there's going to be some aggressive expansion, but actually it would be good for aggressive expansion if I were to just, you know, uh, full annex Provence now, let that stuff tick, tick by, and then take whatever I want from Great Britain. But uh, no big deal. As long as Portugal's here with me, I'm feeling good. And bam. All right, so we have full occupation over all of the provinces that we want, uh, all three of them. Let's go ahead and see, actually, if we can just peace out with them right now. Because I, there's no reason for me to stay in this war. Oh, no. 26. We're going to need 26 war score. Let's go ahead and double check if Austria is willing to join in. No, they're still involved in their own war. Negative 1,000 modifier because they're in a separate war. That's not even fair. Come on, guys. That's totally not even fair. That's kind of, a, it's kind of ridiculous there, I would say. I think you guys are being a little bit dramatic. You're Austria. You're probably the only nation. No offense, Portugal. You're probably the only nation that could probably keep up. It'd be somewhat even. I mean, if it was just like, you know, one-on-one, -on -one, I guess I should say. Not, yeah, one-on-one. -on -one. I, th I think we could handle Portugal. But again, no offense. Oh, they did make a landing. Yes, perfect. That's going to end this war so much faster. Oh, my goodness. That is beautiful. And they're sieging out London itself. Can we, hey, can I join in here? I'd like to join in. I, I don't want to send out my own transport ships, but I guess let's just see what happens. They would be, uh, yeah, it would be the it'd be my first fleet that would come up here. Do I want to try it? I mean, I'd like I'd be down. I'd be kind of down. Okay, let's just go ahead and say screw it. Let's peace out Provence. Uh, get them out of the way real quick. Yep, that's all I want. Uh, give me some money, cause why not? Dang! Oh, dang! You had you had some money. Wow, Provence, how'd you get that much money, dude? Wow, all right, for sure. There we go. And, uh, oh, we can make it a core. Wait a second. I didn't think you could core lands while you're at war. Hmm. Well, apparently I'm still missing a lot of these, uh, a lot of these rules. I'm totally not, not totally into it, I guess. Mexico's declared war on a native of Central America, I believe. Should we go up there? So we know for sure we need 26 war score to peace out with England for just Paris and Normandy. Uh, there we go. Now we can call in Austria. That might even boost up my... No, it doesn't boost up my war score at all. I thought it would. We had a native uprising, but no big deal there. We won that. Uh, colonists is doing work. How, how, what's the progress of our colonies? What are we looking at here? Um, oh, this guy's already been established. Oh, whoops. I totally forgot about that. And, uh, oh, look, Italian Louisiana is going after this is British Columbia. That does not make any sense. British Columbia is in California. All right. Well, that's cool. Oh, that is where the British Army is at. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's definitely not start up anything else. Let's even try to run away, maybe. I don't know if you can make it there, but, yeah, let them go ahead and siege out Florida. That's fine. Dang, you're going to mess up my calling. It's all right, though. I mean, we're gonna if we get London, it doesn't matter. Game over right there. Uh, Portugal's about to go after Cornwall. 31% war score. Yeah, so okay, are you down? Are you good? Because I'd like to just move out of here as fast as possible. No. Why not? Very close to. Very, very close to. I mean, because we siege... I mean, actually, where's the... Uh, we should be getting big bonuses just because we have London. Shouldn't we? We should. Like, they're still not willing to uh, peace out just yet. Is that because of length of war? I mean, we haven't been... Yeah, look at that. I mean, that's ticking up. Now it's positive 69, negative 2, only negative 54. Wow. All right, well, I'm not going to rush it. But actually, I should. Uh, I'd rather my Italian provinces not get completely messed up here. 
I, I'd like them to somewhat be okay at the end of this. I don't want them to be just dying. Who is this here? The Iroquois. Oh, okay. Oh, they're helping out too. That's so nice. We still have a lot of things to convert. We were, we were, I, I believe we had religious unity for like a, maybe like four or five years in this campaign, but after that it was gone. Uh, we've definitely done a number to Protestantism because, you know, we've, we are Catholic as, as Sardinia Piedmont. So we've gotten rid of all the reform and, and Protestants throughout Western Europe. We've remained Catholic for the most part. Ooh, King just died at it. Uh, yep. Okay, my heirs are 335. Not bad overall. Still 10, 7, 10 across the board. I've got no legal heir now, though. Uh, stability is low. Okay, thank you for giving me that pop-up. I didn't realize that you gave me that t that pop-up. Okay, well, we'll be able to boost that up a little bit later. I've got quite a bit of overextension. Uh, uh, national unrest, I should say. Let's see if they're willing to peace out. I'd like to just get out of here. They've got low uh, war enthusiasm. Okay, good. Let's see if we can get some more out of it, though. So what 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 uh, what do I what can I get? I mean I don't really care about the ducats. Let's see if we can get, ask for something better. I mean I've got I've got so much money anyways. Um, I could have you revoke your core. That might not be a bad idea. It's only three percent. Uh, cancel vassalization. Or is this a vassal that you own? I'm I'm assuming something like that. Release a nation. Oh, I'd love you to release Scotland. That would be awesome. Um, Wales probably won't happen either. Okay, that's fine. Just I'm just trying to check. I'm just trying to check. Ooh, are you really in a mil Oh, you're military access to Myth Mexico. You're not allied. Okay, good. I, I didn't want you to be allied. I could humiliate you. No, I can't. That's 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 quite a bit of war, uh, war score. I didn't realize that that was so much war score. All right, that's fine. Let's do that and take as much money as we can, and, and I'm good. I, I don't want no more. Thank you, Great Britain. That was easy. That was a quick, easy war. We should probably get better at that. I should probably get better at that. I'm not good at doing like the quick, easy wars. For some reason, I always kind of take a little bit longer than I should uh, when kind of sticking in a war. That I probably shouldn't have done that because now I'm, I, I need to be boosting my stability up, and I just paid for administrative power to core that land. Okay, let's definitely send a small force back to North Africa because we're probably going to see some rebels pop up there. So go ahead and go down there. And I know I still need to core one more piece of land. We did just uh, complete, we completed a mission because I grabbed a mission to uh, to take Normandy for Sardinia Piedmont, and we did that. Remove Burgundy from the map. Yeah, that would be really simple, I think. Who are they allied to, though? Cologne, pretty much. Okay, that's fine. We, can, we should probably take that, actually. Is there anything else? I'm not going to establish a, pre a presence in Canada. I don't know why they want me to do that. What, what are we going to get? It? Uh, what are, uh, we get a bunch of manpower and, and yearly prestige. Okay, so I'll take that. We'll see. I don't know if I'm going to do it. But I'll take that. So what's this looming disaster going on here? Aspiration for liberty. Ooh. National unrest. Whoa. Whoa. Would give the following effects plus seven national unrest yearly legitimacy down to negative three. That would really hurt us. One of the following must be true. Currently in a disaster. Stability at least three. So if I get my stability up to three, then I can change that. I can make that go away. Oh, gosh. That's a terrible one. Dang, and then internal conflicts, we've been through this one before. Um, we have so far have how much progress? Have we made any progress so far? I don't think so. All right, so we need to slow down, calm down. I need to probably work on getting in more administrative power, maybe even right now I'm already adding two points per month to my administrative category. We need a lot of administrative. I could probably pay... For a level three advisor, I don't know if that's going to really do that much, but let's let's go ahead and do it because we could really use the extra points. I I have no idea what that was, but it, <laughs> something just screamed in my room. Um, it scared the crap out of me. Okay, so level three advisor. Let's yearly inflation reduction. Ah, uh, that is not the best level three administrative advisor I could ask for, but I guess we'll go ahead and take it. He's an eleven. All right. Well, that's too bad. <sighs> well, I guess I guess we'll take it. Looming disasters. How are we doing? This is kind of freaking me out a little bit. A little bit. Right now, I'm at 80 overall administrative power. We should be getting... Oh, uh, how are we at prestige? Oh, we've got full prestige. Okay, so I guess I'll get a bunch of money. Too bad I can't do anything really with this money. I mean, yeah, I know I can build buildings, but I mean, like, I, I, I can't really do anything with this money to help me out in the situation that we've gotten ourselves into. Uh, I do need to work on a fleet, though. Yeah, I will give you that. I, I should probably work on a fleet. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and have some rebels pop up. That's fine. Let's go ahead and fight them off. That shouldn't be too big of a deal. They decided to pop up both in the same province. Uh, we should be able to handle that pretty easily. I'm still waiting for the African 
uh, provinces to revolts. I know they will for sure. Just not sure when. Let's let's definitely boost my stability. Let's boost the stability up because right now it's kind of high. I'm hoping the level three advisor will also. I mean, that's one good thing. I mean, yeah, I don't really need the reduction of inflation, but it, I mean, maybe we can we could use it. I guess we can figure it out. We'll figure it out. What is this? Trade transfer trade power to Portugal. If we do not respond, what is this? Why do you want this? Portugal would like us to transfer 10% of our trade power in all... No. No. Oh, you're not going to like this. Let's watch our uh, their opinion of us go down. Is that what they're... Is that pretty much what they're saying? Is that like the kind of the ultimatum that our opinion will kind of go down with Portugal? Maybe not. I don't know what that was. I'd never seen that before. Well, I think I have just... I never tried to look at the results. How did Austria do in their war? They're technically still at war. Wow. Part of the problem is because Sicily is probably getting just destroyed by the Mamluks. That's a small issue. We can adopt an ideal group. How are we doing overall in technology? I can't really pay for administrative or diplomatic power for idea groups right now, at least. I can't really pay for anything but military. Do I have anything? Yeah, let's go ahead and grab this. Land force limit modifier 20%. There we go. I like that. And uh, that is all we can do for now. Don't want to do anything else than that. I know. I'm trying to work on it. Oh, can we boost this yet? Oh my gosh. Why does it cost so much? There we go. Bam. Boost that. That still doesn't really fix anything. Aspiration for liberty. One of the following must be true. It's just all they want is level 3 stability. That sucks. Because that's going to be really, really hard. That's going to that's gonna cost a lot. That's the only way to get rid of this looming disaster. Alright, well. I... I don't know what else to do. Oh, Austria just peaced out. And they peaced out for just one little thing. That's fine. You can do that. So yeah, we're going to be out of a war for a long time. We're out of wars for uh, probably not a long time, but for a little... There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Give us some stability. I like it. I like it. Okay, so these guys did pop up. Let's give them a nice little general. And perfect. Okay, so we'll go, go after these guys. No, go here. And then maybe I'll have some support by the 8,000 after we go after this... 10,000. Boom, and then bam. All right, guys, I'm going to have to stop right there, though. Doing okay. It's 1728. We are actually wrapping up this campaign. We have less than 100 years, and Sardinia Piedmont's looking good. Our uh, annexation of Brittany, actually, our, our annexation of Brittany still is a while, but uh, we'll get there eventually. I'm, I'm planning on going after North Africa again. But uh, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.